stock option accounting is definitely going to change. Uh, there will definitely be expensing of stock options. And uh, th this is a very, very uh, ch highly charged thing. I mean, there, there, are, there are bills introduced in Congress recently to try to limit it. Uh, but uh, it's clear that uh, Congress and FASB and the SEC want stock options to be expensed. And the idea is it's some kind of phantom way to pay uh, your, your workforce in a way that doesn't appear on the income statement. The truth is, uh, even though companies have, have very generous stock option programs, they also have very generous salary programs. And so the, it used to be that a startup team would work for stock, not cash. That's true for a little bit of, uh, of time. But as you know, it, it's not cheap to live in Silicon Valley. So the engineers need cash too. So the differential between the salary you pay without stock options and the salary you do pay, you pay with stock options isn't that great. The big debate right now is how you value stock options. They're, they're, there's no really good science to this. There's the Black-Scholes model, which is co-authored by a Stanford professor, uh, which was designed for trading op options on the commodity exchange. Doesn't really work for long-term employee options. Many people think it greatly overvalues stock options and therefore causes a bigger charge to earnings than, than uh, should be should would be fair. So the big wrestle right now is how do you how do you compute the value of a stock option? And that's the thing that's up in the air right now. Between now and the end of the year, FASB is going to try to figure that out. And, and we'll have a method January 1st, I'm sure. And all the companies will be forced to follow it. What's the impact? Uh, the impact, I fear, will be significant. I, most companies are saying, if forced to expense stock options, we will cut back on the number of stock options we grant to the rank and file. Not to the senior executives. We'll still do that probably a third to a half of the options anyway, but we'll stop giving options to the rank and file and we'll just pay more cash. Uh, there are all kinds of other mechanisms, restricted stock, restricted stock units, and some other things that uh, would uh, still create equity incentives, but may maybe not uh, yield as big a, uh, an accounting charge. Uh, but uh, I think the result will be less stock for employees. And, uh, and then venture capitalists and entrepreneurs in this area feel you know, less creativity, uh, you know, less of the ownership mentality and, and less success for the startup companies, less, co less competitive advantage for the Silicon Valley type startup. We'll see. I actually uh, am somewhat optimistic. I'm more optimistic than those critics. I think that we'll go back to something that the SEC tried to eliminate, which is pro forma accounting. I think what will happen is uh, stock analysts will say, okay, what would it be without the, the stock charge? Because right now, there's a footnote disclosure of what the, what the charge would be. So now it'll be up in the income statement and everybody will say, okay, well, what if you back that out and everybody will calculate their own cash earnings or pro forma earnings equivalent. And, you know, maybe it'll have no effect. Uh, I, I, I certainly hope that's true. But what I'm hearing in boardrooms is expensing options will mean fewer options.